and we're live. Welcome um, to Hot UF Workshop, day one after the break. And uh, we have now kind of uh, lightning round, so very short talks, but four of them in just two hours. And our first speaker is Taichi Uemura, who will speak about coherence via infinity type theories. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so, yes, um, today I'm talking about uh, some infinity type theories. Uh, and uh, in particular, we talk about um, the internal language conjecture given by company and Ramstein, uh, which says that uh, Martin F type theory with a unit type, dependent sum types, and uh, intentional identity types gives uh, internal languages for categories with, uh, sorry, infinity categories with finite limits. Okay, so this is um, particularly important in the study of homotopy type theory. And uh, this conjecture is understood as a, as a first step to as a larger goal, namely homotopy type theory gives internal languages for what should be called elementary infinity toposes. Okay. And uh, as a remark, um, a slightly different version of this conjecture was already proved by Kapraki and Shimiro. And, uh, but the, the original one is still open, uh, at least to my knowledge. And uh, so today, uh, I'd like to announce uh, proof of the, the Kaplaki and Ramstein's conjecture. Uh, okay, so so let's uh, so let's make uh, this conjecture more precise. Uh, the precise statement is uh, like this. So there is a first, there is a canonical factor and it induces an equivalence of infinity categories. So where this mod i is a model of uh, one category of models of uh, uh, the type theory. And uh, this L mod i is a localization of the this one category. So that is um, the infinity category obtained from this mod i by formally inverting some morphisms. And then X infinity is the infinity category of infinity categories with finite limits. Uh, okay, so basically their conjecture essentially asserts some equivalence of infinity categories. And the one is the infinity category of some theories, and the other is the infinity category of finitely composite categories. And uh, also, this factor was already constructed by. Uh, Coupling and I'm saying, and the. Mm. Okay. So, how to prove uh, this conjecture? So, the basic strategy would be uh, to analyze this functor, this canonical factor, right? So, we first consider decomposing uh, this functor into several pieces. And indeed, uh, in Kaplukin and Shimiro's approach, um, they use some decomposition, look, which looks like this. So they use the category of tribes, the category of vibration categories, and, and uh, as a model of uh, finitely complete infinity categories, they use the quasi categories with finite limits. And uh, Mm, but their path is uh, essentially uh, so one categorical. So uh, this is a uh, one category of tribes and uh, one category of vibration categories and so on. And in contrast, um, our approach is uh, more infinity categorical. So namely, um, we decided to work with infinity categories rather than um, one categories. So at the first step, at the first step, we dive into infinity categorical words and then uh, doing something. 
And uh, okay, so the central idea of our approach is to introduce an um, infinity type uh, notion of infinity type theories. Um, yeah, and uh, one um, an advantage of uh, our approach is uh, it's uh, it's uniformity or it's generality. So as uh, this notation suggests, uh, this mod i, mod i infinity, and the mod uh, e infinity are uh, all special instances of uh, some general construction of infinity categories. So we can easily generalize the construction of uh, modules of i to rex infinity to say, some functor from models of type theory with say pi types or inductive types to some infinity category with infinity categories with structures. Okay, so, so I think mm, our approach is more, uh, in our approach, I think it is more easy to generalize the uh, internal language conjecture. Okay. So let's begin with what is an infinity type theory. Uh, infinity type theories are, of course, uh, higher dimensional generalization of type theories. Uh, at the formal level, it is defined as an infinity categorical generalization of categories with representative maps introduced in my previous work. Uh, so, so it totally makes sense. Uh, but informally, it is like a type theory with uh, proof relevant judgmental equality. So, uh, so imagine some type theory in which judgmental equality is replaced by some uh, equality with a witness for the equality proof. And so if we make a uh, judgmental equality proof relevant, then there should be a notion of equality between equalities and uh, all higher equalities. So, so in that sense, um, <coughs> uh, 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 but this is really quite informal and uh, we haven't yet uh, formulated any syntax for infinity type theories. So. Okay, and uh, also this may be cross related to some type theories with explicit conversions. Um, all right, so in some sense, infinite type theories are in uh, higher dimensional extension of the type theories with explicit conversion. Okay. Um, so, so let's see some examples of infinite type theories. Uh, of course, ordinary type theories are infinite type theories, which are one truncated. So we call them one type theories for emphasis. So for example, um, so that I denotes the intentional one type theory uh, precisely, it is a Martin Lepp type theory with unit sigma and uh, intentional identity types. And then I introduce I infinity, which is the uh, infinity version of uh, this intentional type theory. So it also has a uh, unit type, sigma types, and uh, intentional identity types, but it is not necessarily uh, one truncated. And I also use another infinity type theory, which I call E infinity. And this is a kind of extensional infinity type theory. So it is the infinity type theory with unit sigma and the extensional identity types in the sense that um, elements of uh, identity type are equivalent to uh, uh, the equality. And also, I require that it satisfies a form of univariance, uh, which looks like this. Mm. OK. 
Okay, so, and uh, we mainly work with uh, models of infinity type series. Um, so, and uh, the notion of model I have, we have in mind is uh, natural models. Uh, so for example, a model of I, which is uh, just an intentional one type story, is a uh, only natural model with this unit type, sigma type, and identity types. Uh, so to remind, um, it consists of uh, just for, it consists of uh, one category C and the map of set valid precepts of a C, which is required to be uh, representable, and some maps of precepts in order to model type constructors. And I also note that in this talk, we only consider so-called contextual natural models. So, but mm. yeah, but essentially, we consider these kinds of models. And for another example, um, a model of I infinity is then uh, something called infinity natural model is unit sigma and ID. So we take the same definition as uh, ordinary natural model, but replace C by, uh, repre repre uh, sorry, but replace the one category C by an um, infinity category. And uh, also the precepts E and U should be space valued instead of set valued. And also we can define models of, uh, uh, and also we can describe models of E infinity. It is also an infinity natural model with these type constructors and uh, satisfying invariance in the infinity tuples of precepts. Okay. And uh, this extensional infinity type theory is uh, really really good. Uh, indeed, we have uh, this theorem. Anyway, we have the forget profanta from models of E infinity to the infinity category of infinity categories. And this factors, factors through uh, finitely complete infinity categories and then induces this equivalence of infinity categories. Uh, this is uh, just an infinity Categorical analog of uh, uh, Claire and Bolt and uh, DBA as a result, or equivalence of uh, extensional type theory and uh, finitely complete one categories. But but the proof is uh, more straightforward in the infinity categorical setting, essentially because there is no coherence issue. Uh, I mean, there is no difference between levels of equalities, right? Because both are infinity dimensional objects. Okay. Mm. See. Mm. Uh, so let us, uh, so, now I explain main result. So we have to first construct some functor from models of I, uh, models of intentional type theory to finitely complete infinity categories. Uh, so observe that we have inclusions. Uh, so the first one is because model, uh, model of I it's just a model of I infinity in which the precepts are set valued. And the other is because uh, model of E infinity is a model of uh, I infinity satisfying some extensionality conditions. So we have these inclusions. And uh, first of all, we, I, um, I note that uh, these inclusions have left adjoints. And uh, this basically follows from the adjoint functor theorem. So it's a kind of general nonsense. But, but anyway, then 
we can construct a functor from modulus of i to left exact infinite categories by first embedding into modulus of i infinity and uh, applying the, this left adjoint and use the previous equivalence between the last two infinity categories. And uh, our main our main result is as follows. So first of all, this functor constructed like this uh, is the same as the functor constructed by coupling and normal sign. And then we show that the functor the functor is indeed induces an equivalence of uh, uh, equivalence between localizations. Uh, so uh, the proof of this theorem is a little bit long. So in this talk, I just point out what is the most important step in the proof. So improving the main theorem, we have to solve a kind of coherence problem between the one type theory i and the infinity type theory i infinity. And this is formulated like this. So for any model of i infinity, there exists a model of i equipped with a morphism between them such that uh, it is a subjective on types and terms. Uh, so this is uh, analogous to the Hoffman splitting theorem of uh, replacing a given compression category by a split compression category. So yeah, this is analogous to such theorem uh, because in some sense, model of I infinity is a kind of infinity dimensional model of uh, I. And uh, this lemma asserts that we can split such a infinity dimensional model. Okay. Mm, but so then how to construct uh, this split model? Uh, we use uh, Mike Sharman's result that any infinity topos is presented by a uh, type theoretical model one topos. Um, so, so how to use how to use this theorem to construct a split model? So let us assume that uh, we are given an infinity natural model M. Uh, so M is consists of a base cut infinity category C and uh, map of precives map D of precives of uh, C. So first of all, we present uh, the infinity topos of uh, precives of uh, C as a localization of uh, some type theoretical model topos, say X. Um, Ah, uh, by the way, type theoretical model topos is uh, just a model category satisfying very nice properties. Uh, and then, then because uh, the map D is a uh, morphism in the this pre-shift topos, it is presented by some vibration in the type theoretical model topos X. So we choose some vibration dx. Then, then from such a vibration, we can form a one natural model SPM, essentially by the unit embedding. Or it is also understood as a, a Wojewodowski's universe method. And then the functor, in, and then the localization functor induces a morphism between the split model from the split model to the original model. And it, this morphism is uh, almost by construction subjective on types and terms. 
And finally, we have to deal with uh, type constructors. Uh, so suppose that uh, the given natural mo the given infinity natural model have some type constructors such as unit sigma and identity types. Then we try to lift them to the fibration DX. Mm, uh, okay, so there are some remarks in this construction. So unfortunately, we have not found a general method for the final step, namely lifting the type constructors. So we have to deal with uh, we have to lift these type constructor these type constructors in different ways. Uh, the main difficulty in the final step is that the computation rules are represented in by homotopies in the pre shift infinity topos. But to get uh, one natural model, we have to uh, we have to find a strict equality in the type theoretical model topos. Also, and. Uh, for identity types, we can actually do this. And this is basically because the constructor of identity types must be a co-fibration in X. Uh, more precisely, the constructor for identity types, namely the reflexivity constructor, is a factorization of a diagonal map. And uh, it must be a monomorphism. and uh, in any type theoretical model topos, the co-fibrations are precisely monomorphisms. So, so, so mm, we can lift identity types. And for unit types and the sigma types, uh, we actually have to replace the, the chosen fibration dx by another fibration, but keeping still weakly equivalent to the original one. Um, the idea is uh, to embed the uh, vibration dx into a larger universe, which is closed on the unit types and the sigma types. And we use the existence of uh, enough universes in the type theoretical model topos. And this strategy also works for pi types. But in the case of pi types, uh, we have to go to the next level of universe. So it it causes a rise of a uh, universe level. And uh, also, also as a remark, um, in this construction, the right properness of the type theoretical model topos is important. And this uh, so the right properness implies that uh, the push for uh, sorry the push forwards of uh, the right properness in particular implies that the localization functor preserves uh, push forwards of vibrations, and we extensively use push forwards to describe type constructors. Anyway. Mm, so to summarize, we gave a proof. We give a proof of uh, Kafka and Ramstein's internal language conjecture, and the central idea is uh, the notion of infinity type theories. And we also gave a splitting technique for infinity natural models. There are some future directions related to this work. Uh, we'd like to we'd like to improve the, the splitting to work for other type constructors such as inductive types and uh, universes, maybe co-inductive types and so on. And uh, also, we are interested in syntax for infinity type theories. Um, because we expect uh, some syntactic approach to coherence problems can be can be useful. Mm. 
but but this is not but we haven't find any any good syntax for syntactic presentation for infinity type theories okay uh yeah this is the end of my talk thank you for your attention all right thank you very much uh, i'll let everyone applaud in the way of their choosing um and we'll open the floor to questions So in order to ask a question, you need to be in the live feed. Uh, and to do that, you need to be admitted. And to do that, you need to um, uh, raise your hand. So that'd be the proper channel through which uh, you can do that. Um, you can also type it in the chat, and I will do my best to read it. Um, So can you say something about uh, uh, pi types uh, briefly? Mm -hmm. So uh, when Carol and I were trying to do the like our boring, uh, you know, old-fashioned way of delaying the infinity stuff to the last moment uh, mm -hmm. path, uh, pi types have been really, really hard to deal with mm. and i think that's that's because we don't really understand very well one categorical presentations of infinity categories with pi types mm, yeah 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 mm. yeah perhaps i have uh I have the same impression. I mean, yeah, I think the one categorical presentation of uh, infinity categories. Uh, well, also it is a uh, it also it is uh, helpful because uh, we can concrete, concretely describe. But uh, we found if we found infinity categories uh, sometimes more well. I don't know, it's more easy, something like that. I, don't know. Yeah. I think Thurston maybe, yeah, maybe let's not focus too much on what I have to say. Let's focus on what Thurston has to say. Mm. Uh, well, uh, it's quite interesting what you have to say. Um, so I, I, I wonder, I mean, there was a result by Martin Hoffman, um, um, which relates intentional type theory to extensional type theory in the one uh, setting as a conservativity result, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and I wonder, uh, should we not hope for something like this also in the infinity setting? So what I mean is the following. Um, we have a, a type theory uh, where we have univalence uh, just as a principle for, for the propositional equality, for the internal equality. Uh, but which is, uh, I think it's, it's, it's basically what you call the I, uh, or a version of it. Um, so this is, uh, so this, uh, even you can put it in an infinitary context, but it should still be set based. So the initial one is still, uh, uh, set should be set based, but as soon as you introduce this higher version of, of, uh, extensionality, where you see there's an equivalence between the internal equality. Uh, judgmental equality, then obviously it will not no longer be set level. Yeah, so it's not yeah. certainly not decidable. It's not really uh, something where we have a syntax for in, 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 in the conventional sense. But one would hope that there is a conservativity result uh, similar to this one result. I mean, the one dimensional. Thurston, uh, we have 30 seconds left. So I suggest the discussion for this talk continues in this room, but uh, those that want to stay here should, uh, yeah, uh, we should move to the oh, next sorry. talk. Yeah, sorry. Um, but maybe our our result is already some kind of conservativity. I see. 
Yeah, because the 